Hi, uh, this tutorial is uh, about to explain force to scale feature in BlueArp. Uh, I saw some people don't get the idea how this force to scale works and it's not so much information in the manual, so I decided to make this demo project and several programs and uh, show sonically using kind of music examples how this force to scale works. Uh, you can see a link to FL Studio project and Blur Bank in the description, so you can still use it uh, if you're using uh, use another DAW like Ableton, Cubase, or whatever you can use. Uh, so let's start. Force to scale is uh, about these settings in our pigeon block: force to scale, root key scale, and mode. And basically, uh, value lane is scale step. This is the most important one for us in this context. Uh, and I have quite simple project here. So I have BlueArp connected to Synth1. Uh, I have this simple chord sequence. Uh, but first, uh, let's take this program number 9, chrom chromatic scale. I have uh, 13 steps. Everything uh, on value lanes is defaulted, step types normal, key select key 1, octave 0, and scale step uh, g steadily goes up from 0 to plus 12. And let's listen how it sounds. <laughs> So we basically go up the keyboard, including all black and white keys, and each each step here it's a semitone or half a tone. The distance between consecutive white and black key, or between two whites here, uh, and. Uh, here we have everything default. Uh, how do I know? Because it's kind of grayed out. If I select something different, we see that it becomes white and default values are grayed out. Uh, let's move to program 10. I call it C major scale. And what's different here? We have force to scale root key uh, set to fixed C. Uh, fixed means it will stay C no matter what, what keys I press here, and scale is major. And now if I press C, what will happen? <clears throat> we see C major scale. Uh, pay attention here, no doubt, it's all whites. It's all white keys. It goes like this. C, D, E, F. G, A, B, C. Um, so you won't hear any sharps or flats here. You won't see any sharps or flats because it's all white keys. Now, if we press D, for instance, what will happen? We'll still have only the notes of the C major scale. And those of you who are into music theory, uh, it's 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 called uh, Dorian mode of C major scale, or mode two. So yeah, so now we we have C Dorian. And if we press E, it will be uh, third mode of the major scale or Phrygian mode of C major scale. And here we still have only whites, no flats or sharps. Of course, I can change it to minor, and now we have C minor. And all the same in C minor, there are all these major modes like Dorian Friggen. Also, there are some extra scales like pentatonic. Uh, Pentatonic minor, for example, it only has five keys in the scale, so it will sound different. This is C pentatonic minor. Kind of, I have uh, in my to-do list to add user-definable scales here. Probably I'll make it someday, uh, but now there are only these kind of major scales. But still, you can do a lot even with this. Uh, 
basic scales. Uh, another another important thing. Uh, let's go back to major here. If I select the default value of key one, it means that my uh, major scale will start from key one or the key I press, basically. Whatever key I press, I'll have major. So from that key, now I have C major. <coughs> now I have D major. Or F major. Maybe not too musical, but there is kind of the possibility to configure it this way. Uh, let's go back to C major where we were. Um, we'll cover this setting later. All keys, a mode, all keys, or semi-transposed. And <coughs> let's move to another example. I have uh, this kind of sequence. Uh, I call it dense sequence, and uh, basically programs seven and eight differ only by this force to scale mode setting. Here we have semi-transposed and here we have all keys. Oh, sorry, seven and eight. Here we have all keys, seven all keys and eight semi-transposed. No other differences. And first, uh, and uh, this chord sequence, first let's listen how it sounds unaffected by Blurp. And another quick hint, if you have steps set to zero, Blurp works uh, just like uh, it passes all the notes unaffected, simple through mode, I called it. <clears throat> and this program I called MIDI through dummy. There is uh, such program in uh, Factory Bank, maybe it's another location like three, I don't remember. But if you set steps to one, it's also through mode, but it's quantized and it uh, it will work with respect to this step type setting. And if you have step zero, it will just simple through mode. It passes all the notes without affecting them. So now we'll hear how this uh, chord sequence sounds without blue arp. Kind of long sustaining notes. What's important, uh, I have almost all the notes here fitting A minor scale, which we will set as our um, scale for uh, this example, except, except these two notes. This one, which is uh, B flat, and this one, which is G, G sharp. Here we can see what note comes out. G sharp here and B flat here. Sorry, I did something wrong. B flat. All the other keys are whites, so they fit A minor scale. And now let's listen. We want to listen uh, the same kind of dance sequence with different setting for the scale mode semi transposed and all keys. And First, I'll explain it verbally. Uh, what does it mean? Force to scale semi-transposed only means that it will force to scale only those steps which have scale step not equal to zero. So this is this is zero basically. Uh, uh, so these steps one to three they won't be uh, trans forced to scale. They can be outside the scale, and this is okay if you have this setting semi-transposed. If you have all keys, it means uh, that all, all all steps, including uh, steps with scale step zero, they will be all forced to scale. And now let's hear the difference. And look here at note out. You'll see uh, sharps and flats appearing uh, when the sequencer will hit these two notes. B 
B flat, G sharp, and now let's go to all keys setting. A instead of B flat, forced to scale, and G instead of G sharp. So now all keys are forced to scale. We don't hear these sharp or flat notes. Back to semi-transposed setting. B flat again. G sharp again. Let's go to another sequence uh, to show the same thing. So, semi transposed, we have sharps and flats. B flat here, and G sharp. And now. All keys. No sharps or flats, everything is forced to scale. So A here instead of B flat. <clears throat> and if I move these notes down a semitone. We won't hear any difference because they were forced to scale anyway. Just the same. But I will hear the difference if I go back to sorry to semitransposed setting. G sharp here again. Here we will see B flat. B flat, G sharp, <coughs> so this is how it works, hope now it's, it's, it's more clear, so please write comments, um, and as usual, thanks for watching and have fun with Blurb.